Welcome to The Red Couch, the web show about internet freedom and security. Up today, a new global campaign has begun to combat the illegal spy activities of the National Security Agency. The Day We Fight Back campaign manages to unite actors as diverse as Anonymous and LinkedIn to petition against government spying. Even Vladimir Putin has asked the US government to limit the appetite of the spy agency, the NSA. The movement has the support of Tumblr, Reddit, Upworthy, Facebook, LinkedIn, Yahoo, Google and Microsoft. But it did not even make the front page of the NSA baiting newspaper, The Guardian. We want this to work. It still can work. But here are five reasons why it might not yet be working. One, the story is the problem. No one is getting hurt. From the revelations of Edward Snowden, it was clear that if you're right wing, Edward Snowden is the villain. If you're left wing or libertarian, Edward Snowden is the hero. But where is the victim? There is no geeky teenager manhandled by the FBI for pressing send, send, send on a few emails to an evil corporation. There's no Aaron Schwartz driven to suicide by aggressive prosecution for making public a few boring academic books. No one is attacking you for downloading Downton Abbey through Pirate Bay, and no one's forbidding your access to Wikipedia. No one is punching you in the face, stealing your money, or crashing your home screen. The victim here is the Fourth Amendment. This may be one of the foundation stones of the American Constitution, but it's still just a few words scribbled on a piece of paper. Number two, it's too techy. The reform movement wants citizens to support and act to reform the NSA's metadata database and oppose a bill which allows the database program to be enshrined in law. It's tough to get the public excited about two actions which include the word database. Number three, the public are not engaged. The campaign needs millions to make a difference, but so far it only has 400,000 shares on Facebook and 25,000 shares on Google+. Now this figure is quite interesting because it's double the number of the actual Google Plus users. However, this number eclipses the total number of people who have signed the petition, which is 250,000. This shows that the public are more willing to show their solidarity than demonstrate their solidarity. Four, where's the fight? The campaign is called The Day We Fight Back. But the organizers are asking you to sign a petition or lobby Congress. Now, did Chuck Norris ever sign a petition? Did Stone Cold Steve Austin ever send an email to his congressman? It's not the day we fight back, it's the day we write back. This is the dilemma of engaging too many actors from the corporate world and from the activist world into a movement. You can only change government-backed crime through social unrest, and you cannot have social unrest sponsored by corporations. Number five, this campaign is not fun. Internet activism is growing up, but is it also growing old? The internet community is asking citizens to lobby, not to launch a distributed denial of service on the government. The problem is lobbying is boring and breaking down government websites is not. No one is enjoying this protest, even though Reddit, Tumblr and Facebook are all involved. None of them have managed to launch a viral video which has captured the imagination of the public about this campaign. So what can we do? Well, if big internet companies are serious about the issues which they are raising, they should protest. They should shut themselves down for a day to show that they can protect our privacy. This way, they drain the lake from which the NSA can fish. The big internet names should deny us the right to use their services until they can ensure they are safe from intrusion. Maybe you have some better ideas than us. We would like to hear them. We would love to hear them. So please email us at howfightback at yahoo.com or tell us in the comments below on YouTube. Thank you very much.
The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost 5, a virtual private network that gives you anonymity online and allows you to surf the web securely. Thank you.